Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. So first of all, I have to point out my adorable shirt. I have been collecting Christmas shirts over the last few months so that I can wear them for you guys during these videos. So make sure to check the description box after each video and I'll try to link them all. This one is just from Etsy and I love to give my business to Etsy and small businesses. So check the link down below. But today we're gonna jump right into a video full of one of my favorite things, especially at Christmas time. And that is projects that revolve around the iconic red truck. So a lot of the items and a lot of the products I'm gonna be using in this video are from Dollar Tree. So they're super simple, super affordable, and I hope that you enjoy them. So let's go ahead and dash right in to these red truck themed projects. Dollar Tree is definitely starting to come out with some really great red truck or just plain truck items that you can customize them, including these cute metal hangers. We're gonna turn this one into the cutest banner using those metal trucks and these one inch wood beads. Now, sometimes you can find these wood beads at Dollar Tree. If not, I just purchased mine from Amazon and I'll link the ones that I get. Down below, we're gonna start by removing all of the little hangers off of these, the rope off of them, and we're gonna paint them red, of course, right? So this is my favorite color red acrylic paint. It's called Flamenco by Apple Barrel. You can find it at Walmart, and I'm gonna water mine down just a little bit so that way I can paint the entire truck, but you'll still see through some of the paint and see some of that black detail that's already on the metal. So I started with a foam paintbrush. It was a little bit too large and I wasn't getting a look that I was happy with. So I came back in with a smaller paintbrush and just tried to stay in the lines and where I didn't, I took a little baby wipe and just ran it around those edges. It comes right off. And you can see here, I still have some paint left over that I watered down. So I'm gonna use that to sort of dye my wood beads. Like I said, these are one inch size. I just threw them into my little bowl there, rolled them around with my paintbrush until they were covered. And then this is another little tip is to grab one of these wash basins from Dollar Tree. That is where I put them so they could dry. And once everything was dry, we're gonna string this banner up onto some jute. So I made a little loop at the end of one side so we can hang this. And then as I went along, I'm just tying knots to keep my beads in place. So you'll see here too, I'm also feeding my jute through those holes that were already in our metal trucks and just sort of making my own little pattern and making sure I also add some knots in there so my beads don't slide around and so my trucks kind of stay in place too. If you also love red trucks, make sure to leave me a heart emoji down in the comments below. And this turned out so cute. I wish I would have moved my right truck over just a little bit for these photos, but I didn't notice it till now. This will be cute year round even, or you could throw some different accessories into the back of those trucks for the different holidays. We're gonna use another Dollar Tree sign for this project. Of course, this one is for fall, but we're gonna turn it into a Christmas one. We're gonna start by, again, cutting off the jute hanger that's at the top and sanding it down with a sanding block that you can also find at Dollar Tree. I'm just rubbing it over the words because they were actually glitter and had some adhesive. So if you sand them down, it will smooth it out. And then I'm coming in with some dark gray chalk paint to completely cover up that background. And then we're gonna add some white chalk paint over this. Now, the reason I did this is I really didn't wanna have to do like four coats of white to get coverage. So if you do that darker background first and then come over it with your white, it'll save you some of that. And it'll also give you a really pretty sort of distressed look. We're also gonna be adding some horizontal lines to the top of this to mimic the look of a shiplap. But here's a close up look at what the finish looks like after it's dried. So I was just real careful to go around the truck. We're gonna do the same thing. Be careful going around the truck with our shiplap background. I'm using a regular ruler and a Sharpie marker to add in those horizontal lines, just going around the shape of the truck all the way to the bottom. 
And now we're gonna frame this out and I'm gonna be using some paint stir sticks for this. I just sort of laid them out, marked them, and then used my miter shears to cut these down and made four of them so they would fit around the edge of the sign. The ends of these paint stir sticks do tend to sort of splinter a little bit, so make sure to sand those edges down real well so you don't have any of splintering going on. I'll make sure to link these paint stir sticks that I use down in the description box. You can find them really inexpensively on Amazon, along with those miter shears that I'm using here. They come in super handy for small cuts of wood and plastic when you're crafting. So I'll make sure to link those down below too, because you'll see me using those in a couple of these projects in this video. And then once I had all my pieces cut, I'm coming in with a brown acrylic paint so that I get that wood kind of framed look, just using some hot glue to attach these onto the front side. I also went ahead and took some more of my paint and went around the edges of this sign because you can see the back of the sign kind of shows a different color. This will kind of make everything look nice and cohesive and finished. I did also decide to add a cute little tree into the back of my truck so it would look more Christmassy. This is also from Dollar Tree. It comes with a plastic base so they stand up. I just pulled that right off and then hot glued it into the back of my truck. I also think this would be cute if you added some vinyl or a saying or a personalization onto the front of this sign too to kind of really give it a custom and beautiful look. Our next project is using a mason jar and also one of these little red trucks that were in the spring section at Dollar Tree. Make sure to remember to take off the sticker off the bottom of your Dollar Tree mason jars. I don't know why I didn't do that before I glued this truck in there because you're definitely gonna see it because we're gonna set this on the side. So once I had this sticker off, I'm also adding a small miniature Christmas tree to the back of this little truck and then just adding some Epsom salt onto the inside. That gives it that snowy look. And then I didn't want my mason jar rolling around all over the place. So these little blocks are from Dollar Tree too. I just hot glued four of them onto the bottom of my mason jar for a really cute shelf decor piece. Next up, we're gonna make a red truck ornament that anyone can do because we're gonna use popsicle sticks. So the first two I've just stacked right on top of each other and we're gonna make two smaller pieces using my miter shears again to cut these down to the same size. Now, if you don't have miter shears, you can also either kind of crack these on the side of your table. You can also score them with an X-Acto knife. Use what you have on hand just to cut these down. I would say I probably cut about two inches off, but honestly, I probably could have cut a little bit more off. This is one that you just kind of trial and error. So once I had those two glued onto the back of those popsicle sticks, I am adding a smaller piece to the top and you can kind of see our truck starting to come to life here. Again, just using hot glue to attach everything together. We're also going to put a little tiny piece, which is just a scrap piece from earlier onto the back to kind of give it a tailgate look. Now it is time to paint. I'm using my flamenco red acrylic paint again on this, doing the front and the back to make sure everything is covered. Then I didn't have any black buttons, but I had yellow ones. So I decided to just paint those black. And I kind of wish my buttons were a little bit larger here too, so they looked more like tires. But you can even use a little wood round disc for this. Use what you have on hand. And then for a little hanger in the back, I'm using some red and white Baker's twine, just hot glued into a loop right on the back side there. And then of course, adding the iconic Christmas tree to the back. These again are the Dollar Tree miniature trees. And I just added two to the back there and hot glued those into place. I've seen where people have actually glued photos to the inside of the window of the truck and that looks so cute. You can also personalize these with a name or a date so that you have when you made this ornament and it kind of personalizes it for years to come. Up next, we're gonna do the simplest little addition to gift giving and this is sort of an embellishment piece. These again are wood trucks from the Dollar Tree but they have little clothes pins on the back. I'm using some paint pens to easily color these all in 
and make them look a little bit more Christmassy. Obviously these were fall with pumpkins, but I just painted the inside green, added some little red spots to make them look more like ornaments. And then you can put this onto a wrapped gift right in the center of your bow, clip it right on there and it just dresses it up super easy. This is such a fun project too. Now is a great time to grab one of these other pick style fall signs from the Dollar Tree. And I'm pretty sure they have these at Christmas time, but if you wanna make one now, we can just transform this fall one right into a Christmas style one. I'm painting over those pumpkins with some dark gray chalk paint, sort of making some Christmas tree shapes. This also had some of that glitter and adhesive on the arrow. So again, I'm just sanding that down smooth so I can come in with white chalk paint this time to cover up the wording on the truck tailgate and then also the entire arrow. It did take a couple coats of that, let that dry, and then we can start working on our Christmas trees. I'm using two shades of gray, using the dark one as the background, and then while it's still wet, coming in to make those sort of textured strokes with the lighter green on top. Now this is a free printable that I'm pr providing for everyone. Make sure to check the description box below for the link to that. You just print it out on regular computer paper on a regular printer and then you just cut it down to size but it will print scaled down to size for you. And then I'm just using some regular stick glue to add this right onto this sign. Super duper cute. This would be cute to even just add to different accessories and decor pieces in your home like a wreath or put it next to a fireplace like i've shown you here inside of a bucket again this is another red truck from dollar tree i'm going to be painting this one out red of course and then i also really love this one because it has the little gate on the back so i wanted to make sure that stood out and painted that part with some brown chalk paint. So we're gonna turn this into a cute little shelf decorative piece. I also made sure to sort of define those wheels with some black chalk paint, really easy to do with a smaller paintbrush. And adding a couple of these little Christmas trees from Dollar Tree, again, removing those plastic pieces at the bottom, we don't really need those. And then using my red and white Baker's twine to give it a little bit of an embellishment tied those together and sat them down inside of my truck. I did not glue them though, so that next time for a new holiday and season, I can change that out. I also loved these metal trucks. It's sort of the backside of a truck and we're gonna make a cute little hanging piece for this. Again, removing our jute handle so we can paint it out. I'm using an acrylic paint, not watered down this time, so you can see it's a little bit darker. And I'm also using a black paint pen to define the wheels and also those little lights in the back. This is a garland that you can get year round at the craft store and Walmart. I made a little wreath out of that, added a bow to the front, used the same ribbon to tie onto the top to replace the handle. Such a cute little simple piece. Add your name into that back window. I think that would be super cute too. Now more fall red trucks from Dollar Tree. These were little ornaments. So we're gonna turn them into Christmas ornaments by just removing what was glued onto the back, which was like a pumpkin and what looked like some fall flowers. I just got all of the glue off of there. And again, using these little miniature Christmas trees from Dollar Tree, I did go ahead and pull that bo the bottom part off of that. It's just a wood piece that's hot glued on, so it pops off really easy, just twisting it. And then again, hot gluing that little tree to the back, and it was just as simple as that to change something from fall to Christmas. This is the other wood truck that Dollar Tree carries. It doesn't have the gate on the back. And this one we're gonna add to a wreath. I'm covering this entire thing, front, back, sides, insides, all with red paint because you will be seeing that. But I wanna show you how I'm gonna make a quick 
bow for the wreath. This is three inch size ribbon. And what I'm doing is making a loop and twisting it in the center point. So that way the print on this ribbon flips over to the front side and then mimicking the same size loop on top there. And I just continued this process. I ended up making five loops. I like to do an odd number. That way the last one sort of becomes the center loop whenever you go to fluff it all. You just tie it all up around the center with some string and twine. I left my twine kind of long because we're gonna use that to tie it onto the wreath, not having to use any hot glue. Then you can go ahead and cut that long tail off, but we wanna make a tail for this bow too. So I'm cutting a small length and dovetailing the ends to give it a decorative look. And then secondarily adding this tail onto the back by just tying it with the jute from the bow. Make sure to fluff your loops really well, tie it onto the back. And I'm also gonna be tying my truck onto the wreath with jute through those wheels and around the wreath. I love this because it makes nothing permanent and you can reuse your wreath for different seasons and holidays and make it repurposed that way. I would love to hear which one of these 10 red truck projects was your favorite. You can leave those down in the comments below for me. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new, and I want to thank you all so much for joining me here at the Cozy Christmas Cottage. I will see you soon. Happy holidays.